it's Hey Man Squad, back in again with another video here today, man. It's King of the Packs episode 33, everybody. Welcome. We have a few new packs in the ranking. I don't know when the bow knows if that came out last week and I just forgot about putting it in, but it's the first week it's in King of the Packs. We also have the Zero Chill Fantasy Pack, first week in King of the Packs. And I think that is all the new packs. So if you guys don't know what the King of the Pack series is, man, it's basically where I rank all the coin and training packs in Madden 22. And every time that I put one of these packs onto the tier list, I'm going to show some of you guys' big banger polls that you guys submitted to me on Twitter on this post. The post is going to look like this. You want to be looking for this. It opens up on Friday. I'll make the post Friday and it's open through Monday. So make sure you guys are taking good, clean, quality photos. And some of you guys, man, there was somebody who had a really good poll this week. I think it was from the Zero Chill Pack, and it was just too bunched up. I couldn't see your coins. I couldn't see, like, what was going on. I saw the pack in the corner, but you need to give a full screenshot of your TV, your monitor, all that stuff, guys. It's super simple. Whenever you get a big banger pull, pull your phone out, take a big picture. I will crop it. It helps me out when I'm editing the photos. So make sure you guys are getting good quality photos. And somebody has a name with... In the name, it includes a private part, bro. I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to say which one, but you can't have that in there. I can't take your submissions. And you had this is the second time that I couldn't include you because I'm not saying that name on the screen. So make sure you guys have good names, good quality photos. And remember, whoever has the most submissions at the end of the year will get a copy of the Madden 23 Dynasty Edition on me. So make sure you guys are doing good and make sure you guys keep on the submissions coming, man. It, you know, it's anybody's game right now. We're only halfway through Madden. So keep up the good work before we do get into the tier ranking and the top 10 list. You guys know what I have to say. I say it every video. Make sure you guys hit the like button right now. Hit the sub button if you haven't, man, because a lot of y'all watch the videos and haven't hit the sub buttons. I mean, what the heck are you doing, bro? We just hit 7K. So thank you on that. Uh, make sure you guys are still hitting the sub button, man, because the road to 10K has now begun. And also make sure you guys are putting on post notifications, man. Join the Nobody gang. Let up the comment section. And let me know down below, what is your king pack? Your king pack is the best pack in the game, your go-to pack, the pack you have the most fun with. You guys will know what mine is in the video. I actually haven't even thought about it, so we're just going to jump right into this. So, elite pack. This pack. Garbage. I feel like a lot of the packs are going to be garbage and don't pull anymore because you guys know the packs that I like, the packs that I don't like. So that's just one of them where it's just like, I just don't feel the need in pulling it anymore. Actually, no, this pack, I take it back. This pack is actually not bad. I think I pulled this last week and it was not that bad. This is like the top of the garbage can. It's not in the decent, but it's at the top of the garbage. It's, you know, the, the top pack in the garbage can because it's really not that bad, but it's just not very exciting to me anymore. But let's get into the submissions for the elite pack today. All right, so we had one elite pack submission. It's from OG Grable. Uh, he had a Redux Kevin Green, an 89 Marquise Pouncey, and two little elites on the side. I mean, that's not bad. Four elites in one pack. I don't know if he got another one with the fifth card, but this absolute banger right here. You love to see it. So OG Grable, you are king of the elite pack for the week and the episode. Love to see it. Keep the submissions rolling. Now we're on to the get a silver player. Now, a lot of power-ups have gone up, guys. If you didn't know, Akeem Hicks power-up did go up a lot. Justin Fields power-up was it. I mean, this is just bears, guys, because those are the ones that I was paying attention. Justin Fields was like 20-something K. Team Hicks was like 30, 40. I mean, any of the zero chill guys, their power-ups have gone up. You know, some of the 93s, they're at like 10K. So make sure you guys are checking your power-ups. This pack, I'm always going to put in the decent because I always feel like it's a good pack. The highest card you can get from this now is an 85 overall. So you could potentially get an 85 coin quick symbol player. And I think, what is 85? Probably like 80K, some, something around there. So, I mean, if you pull that out of there, man, if someone gets an 85 coin quick sell out of this pack, I'll probably put it in King of the Packs because that's a banger. But no submissions for this pack. We're going to save the pro fantasy for the end. Game changer. Do not pull anymore. Just not fun for me. It's boring. It, we didn't even have any submissions this week for the game changer because it's just dry, bro. It's just not the pack you want to be pulling. We'll move on. Clutch pack. Another pack that... I don't know. I just feel like with all the packs in the game, I'm just not pulling this pack. I'll put it above the game changer, though. It's nothing really against this pack. I just am not pulling it. There's so many other packs I'd rather spend my coins, you know, spend my time and energy. The clutch pack is just not really it anymore. Um, Any pack that I put in here, it's just a pack that I just don't really feel the need to pull at the moment. Now, once we lose all the zero chill packs, maybe we lose the bow nose. This might have to make its way back up, but for the time being, it's in the do not pull. We didn't even have a submissions for it, so we'll leave it there. All pro fantasy pack. 
This is another one, bro. I'm going to put it in the garbage can. It, it, it snuck up one week, but for me, bro, it's like a mini legend fantasy pack. You know, sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. And for me, I need to be hidden, bro. You guys know I need to get them big banger pulls. So I'll put that in the garbage. Don't really like it, but we did have some submissions. So let's go check it out right now. All right. So for our two submissions for the all pro, man, you guys got some bangers, man. I'm going to be honest. I wish I could get these pulls. We had OG Grable with the 94, another Redux pull for OG. He got a Jim Kelly Redux, and then we had M Pasta 4 with the 94 LeGarrette Blunt. It's kind of cropped out, but obviously it's the 94 LeGarrette Blunt. This photo was just a bit too big because it was like all the whole screen was all the cards, and it's like it was a council screenshot, so it was kind of hard to crop. So make sure this is another example, guys. Make sure you guys are taking just pictures with your phone it doesn't have to be a console screenshot just take a big photo of your tv screen and your monitor all that stuff and i will crop it it makes it so much easier so we don't have issues like that but still big banger pulls nevertheless og grable and m pasta four you guys got some big banger pulls and you guys are king of the all pro fantasy pack for the week and episode love to see it keep the submissions rolling Ooh, now we on to the legend fantasy doo-doo pack i'm gonna put this one right right where it belongs and the don't pull I would put it in the shadow realm down here where you guys can't even see it, but I can't do that. So we're going to leave it right here. No submissions for this pack this week. It was, it's just, it's too expensive, bro. For what, for what you get sometimes, man, I, I swear I pulled this pack and gotten it. Like what's the minimum you get from this An 84 and 85 legend. That's what I get every time. So I'm going to leave that pack right there. Team of the week pack. This is another pack that I used to pull a lot. You guys know I used to pull this every week. I don't really pull it anymore. I would put this pack above the clutch. I'm not saying this pack probably would be in the garbage if it wasn't here, but I just don't feel the need to pull it anymore. You know, for what you get, you can really walk out of this with a team of the week card that goes for like 4K. And that's what a lot of people get, bro. They'll pull all 10 team of the weeks and get an eight, like the minimum team, team of the week card. So I'm going to leave that there until, you know, we don't have any other packs in the store and I'm bored. I'll pull this pack again. But for right now, I have a lot of packs in the store, and this is just not one of the ones I'm pulling. And we didn't even get any submissions for it. So I'm going to leave that there. Get a gold player pack. This pack has been good. This pack has been bad. But for right now, I think I'm going to put it in the decent category. I'm going to put it above the get a silver because it's an interesting pack. It's an entertaining pack. It's a fun pack. Probably should do a Millie opening of the get a gold player pack. But I don't know, man. Sometimes this pack burns me, but sometimes I do good with it. So I think it's like in the middle, right in the decent category. And we did have some big banger submissions for this pack. So let's go check it out. Big banger pulls right here, everybody. We had Fast Rake with the 95 Derek Thomas full legend. And Austin, I'm Rizek with the 96 LTD Brian Dawkins. So, I mean, big banger pulls right there, man. I hope that one day I could get something, you know, this top quality out of a get a gold player pack. I feel like I, I, I'm trying to think what's my best pull from a get a gold this year, and I can't even think of it. So we're just going to hope that I can hit this one of these days. But Fast Rake and Austin, I'm Rizik. You guys are king of the get a gold player pack for the week and episode. Love to see it. Keep the submissions coming. We're moving quick. We're moving fast. We're on to the zero chill pack. This I like this pack. I, I pulled this one at first came out, and I really haven't gone back to it because, again, there's a lot of other packs that I like to pull. But I'm still gonna I'm gonna put this one actually in the decent category. I think it's cheap and I think there's some good options out of this pack. We didn't get really any crazy submissions. We did get one and we had one that could have been, but like I said, you gotta change your name, buddy. You know who you are. So let's get into the zero chill submissions for the week. So we had Cam Air with you no know, nothing too crazy. Little 91 Jason McCourty, 85 Joshua Gordon, JC Jackson, Ken, a lot of elites in the pack. That's the thing, the zero chill pack, like, it pops out some good pulls. A lot of the time, it just pops out a bunch of elites. But, I mean, this is a quality pack. It's a good pack. And I think this pack's only, like, 32K or something like that. So, you love to see it. Cam Mayor 25, you are king of the zero chill pack for the week and the episode. Keep the submissions coming through. All right, we're almost done. I'm going to go to the bow nose pack. I'm going to put this in. Now, I'm only putting this here. I'm actually going to just, like, throw it in the middle because I honestly just haven't touched this pack. I will be honest with all of y'all. I have not even pulled one of these before. It guarantees you an 86 bow nose, which those things are going for like 15K. And then you also get a guaranteed 80 plus and probably some gold cards. I just haven't pulled it, bro. It's just like another one of those packs that EA throws in the game, tries to kind of get you to pull it. And it's just not a pack that just interests me, you know? 
But if you're getting some big banger pulls from this pack, guys, let me know. And let me know if you guys want to see me open it. Let me know if this pack is good, bro. Because I haven't heard one person actually open this pack. So let me know how it's doing. Let me know if it's nice. I don't know if I'm going to pull it. But we'll leave it there. No submissions because nobody made a submission. Now we'll go to the Zero Chill Fantasy Pack. I got no submissions from this pack. I feel like nobody added me with pulls from this pack. This is another pack that I just haven't touched. It's like... They throw a bunch of packs in the game to try and get us to spend coins. But this is another pack that I just don't feel the need to mess with. So I'm going to... Dude, we have a lot of packs in the Do Not Pull. I'll put it over the Game Changer and Legend because these are just buns cakes. But we have a lot of Do Not Pull anymore. And it's like a mix of I don't pull anymore because I don't like it. And I don't pull anymore because I just don't pull it. So I don't know, man. Hopefully, we're going to have to mess around with one of these one day and just hopefully get something good. Um... Let's see. Where do we go next? These are awesome great packs right here. These are awesome fire packs, but I think I know what I have to do here. Let's go with the Bow Nose 85 Plus. Now, guys, I got back from work on Monday night, which is tonight, and I just I messed with this pack a lot. And I had a big crazy reroll where I made like 1.2 mil on one reroll. Re and then I did another reroll on another account. And I think I, I might have profited like 200k. So this pack was, it was hidden. It was doing its thing. I'm going to do some more experimentation with this pack tonight. By no means is this like a bad pack. By no means is this like a king pack. I'm going to put it, I think I'm going to put it in the banger category though. Because the fact that I made 1.2 mil on my first reroll from this, it it's just unbelievable i pulled the calvin johnson sold him for 425k i pulled so many other 95s 94s and just kept re-rolling them building up the 85s and 86s then getting rid of them this pack is still nice it's a sleeper pack it's just like when we have zero chill ltds and all that other stuff we're just not gonna mess with this pack but i'm gonna keep it in the banger because i still make profit from it no submissions for the bow nose we're just gonna you know just do our thing it's a typical pack and now we get into these. I kind of consider these two almost the same pack in a way because I feel like people 50-50 mess with both of these. They kind of do the same thing. But let's go with the Pro Fantasy Pack first. Pro Fantasy Pack. Bro, I haven't thought about this at all where I want to put these packs and which one I want to decide with my king. I'm kind of like on the moment deciding right now. And I'm going to put the Pro Fantasy Pack. right here i'm gonna put it right there i feel like this pack bro it was just not it was actually just not that great for me um this this is teetering on out of the banger into the decent like at the top of the decent this pack i think we broke even on a milli opening but it just wasn't popping out good pulls i ended up getting some 92 stocking sufferers that helped out in the end but I don't know, guys. The Pro Fantasy was just not the greatest. If I have another bad opening with this Pro Fantasy, I'll probably put in the Decent. And I never thought that I would say that with the Pro Fantasy because it's always been so good. But that obviously leaves these two packs right here. And like I said, it's kind of the same pack. So I'm just going to put them... This is like the first week that I have two packs in the King category. But it's like they're generally like the, the same pack. Now, some people don't like the 78+. plus. Some people only like the 85. Some people only like the 85. And some people like the 78+. plus. Me personally, I kind of fall under this. I'll put that there. I kind of fall like this. And in all honesty, I like pulling the 78+, plus better. And this is why. Let me take a breath. Let me take a sip. I like pulling the 78 plus first because I still get LTDs from it. I still get a lot of LTDs from it, but I also get a bunch of different cards that I can either do team builders with. I can do um, exchanges. I can do zero uh, stocking stuffers. Like I can do so much stuff with all the cards from this pack, which is why I like pulling this pack more than this one right here. But if you are chasing LTDs, you got snow to re-roll and spend the 85 plus pack is really good. I mean, we popped on stream and pulled two LTDs from this pack like it was nothing. Maybe even three. I don't remember. But we pulled a lot of LTDs out of this pack like it was nothing. But personally, you guys know that I like to re-roll packs. I like to sit and have long pack openings. I don't like a quick pack opening. That's just not fun for me. That's why I don't like the Legend Fantasy. I don't like... You know, the all the, it's like I'm spending so much coins and I'm not being able to like, you know, sit there for a while and open a bunch of packs. This pack, 
I can sit for, I literally had a reroll where I sat for two hours. Like two hours rerolling in one reroll. So that's why I like this pack. That's why I'm gonna put it in the king category. We will get onto the pro fantasy submissions right now, then the zero chill submissions, then the top 10. So let's get into it. Guys, I feel like I talked there for a long time, but it's like, you guys know that I love packs, man. I love doing this. I have a series where I rank the packs and I talk about how much I like and dislike them. So I just had to do that. Pro fantasy packs, like I say every week, if you don't have an LTD, you're not going to make it in the Pro Fantasy Pack. Unless it's like a crazy Redux that goes for like a milli plus, it's always going to be LTD submissions for this pack. And that is what our boys got right here. So we had Matt Usley. Is that how you say it? Usley? I think that's how you say it. If I'm saying it wrong, let me know. And then BX Bobby 13 both with LTD 96 Tony Romos. And these things were going for like seven, 800K. So big banger pulls right there. You love to see it. So Matt usely and bx bobby 13 you guys are king of the pro fantasy pack for the week and the episode love to see it keep the submissions rolling let's get on to the zero chill training packs now we're on to the training packs obviously these are some like weirdly cropped photos i'm probably just going to take single submissions just so it's more even but i took these guys tim richie 54 and angel maybe both these were the first people to make the rainbow ltd submissions like i said i'm going by time there was like probably like 10 of you guys that submitted rainbows maybe even 15 and i went by the people who submitted first so make sure you guys have noties on for twitter if you guys want to get a submission for this pack right here you got to have the noties on you got to be the first person to post and i will tell you right now tim richie 54 is there with the noties bro i mean when i post king of the packs he literally posts this immediately after, and he claims this submission every week. So if y'all are like that, you guys get a free submission. That's what he's been doing, and he's been going up the ranks. I will say that. Don't sleep on our boy Tim Ritchie right there. But Tim Ritchie 54 and Angel, maybe you guys are king of the Zero Chill training packs for the week and episode. Love to see it. Let's get into the top 10 now. All right, so our six through 10, we got Harms, Dave Pollux, AJ, Max Arkins, and Hawks Nations 12. Hawks Nations trying to make his way into the top five. This one didn't change from last week, but the top five actually did change just a tad bit. So let's go check it out. All right, so our top five right here, we still got Ed Mayer at the top, Cam Mayer at the second. Tim Ritchie made his way into the three spot with nine submissions. Man, I'm telling you, man, he gets that free submission from them trading rerolls every week. And it's because he must have noties on because he posts immediately. Then Drew Conger 14 and Jaden 39018548. You guys are the top five. These guys, Ed Mayer didn't get a submission this week too. So guys, these are the weeks you guys got to be submitting when Ed Mayer isn't. You guys got to make them submissions and go up the ranks, man. Again, this is up to anybody. His brother Cam is right behind him. Cam got one submission this week. So let's see what the heck happens, man. This is starting to get interesting. Let's get back to the tier list real quick, though. All right, guys. So this is my tier list for the week. You know, this is all personal opinion. You guys know this. Like, some people like the 85+, plus, some people like the 78+, plus, some people like the Legend Fantasy Pack. Couldn't be me. But it's just kind of my personal opinion. I'm hoping that some of these packs can make their way out of the Do Not Pull, man. I really, really hope. Maybe I need to mess with them. Maybe I should do like a wheel spin every week. And it has to, it's, uh, the packs in the Do Not Pull, and I have to pull the pack that it lands on. Except for Legend Fantasy, bro. If it lands on this pack, I'm just not going to ever make a video ever again. But we will. maybe we'll do that. That might spice King of the Packs up a little bit. But honestly, any of the King, the Banger, and the Decent, I would say are packs that I would pull. Garbage, obviously not really messing with them unless it's like discounted or something. But all these packs are good man it's like i have so many packs to pull right now and this is what i like about christmas we don't even have the gift packs in this anymore and i'm pulling those packs too so there's so much stuff in the game right now you love to see it christmas time is always the best time in madden so i hope you guys are having fun hopefully you guys are getting your xl gifts and all your gifts are ready for christmas and guys i say this around the holidays don't let ea sports take you away from your family you know christmas i will open up all the gifts for a video then I'm going to be off, man. I don't care what LTDs we get. I don't care what the heck's going on on Friday or Saturday. I'm going to be out doing my thing with the fam. So you guys will see me open up my Christmas gifts, and then I'm going out and having some fun with the family, and I hope you guys do that too. Don't let EA pull you away from your fam on holidays. But guys, that's going to be all for King of the Packs episode 33. So thanks for pulling up. Thanks for the submissions. Let's keep them going. Let's keep it going. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Put it on post notifications, guys, and I will see y'all in the next video or stream, man. It has been real. Peace.